Although it's said that money can buy happiness, you cannot deny that at least some of the form of currency is needed in order to live comfortably in the world today. And while the majority of us work hard for the cash we end up owning at the end of the day, others are a lot more nefarious in their chosen professions, aiming at taking what we have in a number of online scams. But what are the scams on money that we should be looking out for, and how can we choose to protect ourselves against those who want nothing more than to take what we've earned? Well, whether you're afraid that you might fall victim to one of these scams or just want to know more about the ways that criminals can get their hands on people's cash, stay right where you are as we're about to explore the most popular scams on money in the world. So strap yourselves in and get ready for a bumpy ride as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos that we post. Number 1. Phishing Scams The first online scam to feature on our list is one of the most popular, which comes in the form of phishing emails and malicious attacks attachments sent to company employees. According to a new report from F-Secure, around one-third of all security incidents actually start with this type of scam. And while the majority of us have heard the name and know well to avoid email contact from those who are unknown to the receiver, the nitty-gritty of phishing emails is often pushed to the side. But since digital scams of this nature are still on the rise, we thought it was about time to tell you the truth behind the process itself. Phishing scams are based on communication made through email, but can in certain instances be found on social media platforms, showing just how much these scams have developed over the years. Regardless of whether these forms of communications can be found though, they usually involve a criminal sending user messages trying to trick them into providing him with valuable and sensitive data. The data in question can range from the user's identity number to login details for his or her online banking app. Either way, this information can then be used with malicious intent to steal funds from the user in question. What makes phishing scams so dangerous and successful is the fact that they often appear to be sent from official sources like banking institutions for example. And since we live such busy lives and have learned to trust sources that appear to have authority, many fall into the trap of providing their data to sources who aren't exactly official. This is why banks often send their users long emails indicating that they would never ask for credentials and login details, letting their users know that any requests along this line are nothing more than another phishing attempt. On the more advanced side of things, criminals have also used such scams to convince users to click on a link that may take the user to a website that looks official but is in actual fact controlled by them. When the user then inputs their login details into the fake page, the website will crash, but not before the criminals on the other side have made off with the user's sensitive login data. More often than not, criminals will also put the user under a time limit of sorts, possibly stating that their bank account is currently being accessed. This means that the user doesn't have the requisite time to ensure that things are on the up and up. To avoid phishing scams, all you really need to do is not panic. When you're being told that your account is under attack, take a step backwards and ask whether your bank would indeed contact you in this way. And before doing anything, call the bank's fraud line and make sure that things are actually going on the way that they have been described in the email you've been sent. You should also always make sure that the source who has sent you the email is reputable. By taking time out of your day to ensure that things are as they are described, you'll never be caught by a phishing scam. So keep calm and carry on. Number 2. The Long Lost Nigerian Prince By far one of the oldest and well-known scams that have existed from the very beginning of the internet, the Nigerian print scam, as it has come to be known, finds itself next on our list. When you really think about it, this scam is absolutely ridiculous, but some people are so desperate for a quick buck that they find themselves falling for it, even though it hasn't changed much since its inception. For those of you who are hearing about this scam for the first time, it involves the user being contacted by a member of a wealthy Nigerian family who often holds the title of a prince and, in some instances, a prince. This person will contact the user with the use of an emotional email, letter, text message, or direct message on social media asking for some help in exchange for a large sum of money. More often than not, the scammer will ask the user to retrieve a large sum of money on the scammer's behalf from a bank, post office, or fake courier company. Since this often requires the user to pay a small amount of money in effort to release the fees, the user needs to be convinced that the payment is definitely worth it. And this is easy enough when the scammer promises the user a certain percentage of the money obtained, which is often in the thousands or even millions of dollars. After the initial payment of this small amount into the account controlled by the scammer though, the situation becomes complicated, with the scammer explaining that another small payment is required, apologizing for the additional services that the user has had attended to. These scams are also usually accompanied by official looking documents aimed at making users believe that everything they are doing for this wealthy
wealthy person is legal. And keep in mind that even though the majority of these scams are Nigerian in nature, they are not exclusively as such. Scams such as this can be sent to you from promising businessmen and government officials alike who reside anywhere in the world. And while it might be tempting to pay a small amount of money in an attempt to receive a massive payout, ask yourself why you're being asked to do this by an anonymous wealthy man or woman. Surely there must be a better way than this individual trusting you, right? As people often say, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So never pay money on behalf of someone else that you don't know. If you stick to that general rule, you'll never be scammed again. Number 3. Greeting Card Scams The holidays are supposed to be the best of times of the year when you spend your days with family and celebrate the occasion with food and gifts. Scammers have, however, found a way to capitalize on the joy that people feel during these times by making them use what have now been called greeting card scams. Similar to the phishing email scam we have discussed earlier, adults will discover that around holiday time they will receive a number of greeting cards that will appear to be coming from friends or family. By opening up the email and clicking on the card, they will be welcomed by malicious software being downloaded and installed onto their personal computer's operating system. The type of malware that might be installed onto your computer ranges from annoying pop-up advertisements to a multitude of other forms of unexpected windows. Essentially, when your computer becomes infected by this type of malware, you will become one of the bots which are a part of the large your network of infected computers. And it's when this happens that your computer will start to send private data of yours, as well as financial information, over to a fraudulent server controlled by the scammers who sent you the greeting card email in the first place. If you're not the type of person with a family who sends greeting cards, then you obviously won't fall victim to this scam, as you'll end up seeing right away through the email that it was sent to you. That being said, the only true way to protect yourself from the effects of such a scam, which could range from identity theft to day breach, is to use a specialized security program program to strike these scams from your inbox. There are a great number of security programs that help in this regard, with the vast majority of them being in the form of annual services you can subscribe to. But other than relying on a security program, look carefully at the emails you receive and never open anything if you don't know who the sender of the email actually is. Number 4. The Infamous Bank Loan and Credit Card Scam As we said earlier, people are often tricked by offers that are simply too good to be true. But funnily enough, this is not only limited to large amounts of money that people can obtain over a short period of time. In fact, the next scam that makes it onto our list involves the offer of either taking a loan or credit card that has very low interest rate. Remember, when an offer exists that's too good to be true, ask yourself why this bank is able to make that offer and above the other banks on the market. Since the majority of people find themselves unable to be okayed for loans due to their financial situation, they usually jump at the offer of being given a loan without even having their financial positions checked. And once they apply the fake bank with the information required to take on the loan, the bank simply disappears along with the sensitive information of that user. More often than not, this type of scam results in identity theft, which is when the scammer makes use of your personal data to open up bank accounts or even log into things as if they were you. There are thus quite a few ways that you can protect yourself against the effect of a bank loan or a credit card scam. One of them is simply asking yourself how many banks would give you an offer like this without first analyzing your financial system. Once again, if the offer seems too good to be true, it almost certainly is. If you do feel like you've fallen victim to this type of scam in the past, be sure to keep a close lookout on your bank accounts and take advantage of the free consumer protection services that are available to you. And when you notice something fishy, report it immediately so that things can be taken care of. What do you think of these crazy scams on money? Feel free to let us know in the comments section down below. 